G'day mate, Cobber here. Welcome back to the first owner only RTG holiday edition. Taking the family away for a holiday and I'm still going to have content for you. The road to a thousand subs is well and truly alive. An episode every day for a year is my promise. And today our focus is on Icon Swaps part number two. You can see the active squad in the background. We could definitely use an icon in there. Particularly could use some defensive icons. And defense is so important in this year's FIFA. I feel like goals are there to be had. But can you stop um, yourself from leaking goals is the bigger question. But in this new batch of icon swaps, there are a bunch of top tier defenders, a bunch of top tier attackers. And I'm going to break down for you today who you should be looking to invest your time and effort into. Because there's 77 days worth of this challenge. It spans for a really long time frame and they're only allowing you to get um, icons at the pace in which EA want. They want to bait you into the game, force you to spend your coins to upgrade your team. So you need to invest your time and effort wisely. To start off with, I'm focusing on these front four because you can only get six tokens right now. So if you want to build your team up immediately, there are six players here to pick from. Van der Sar, one of the uh, pro players' favorite keepers. Usually they go for his either his prime version or his baby version, not so much his middle version. Not sure why, uh, but usually this is the one that they don't use as much. I'd probably stay, say stay away from the keeper unless you really need one to link up your center backs and look more towards these three. Frank Reichard, don't do him. Leave him alone. Why? His balance, his agility, his stamina, just not good enough. 58 finishing, pretty low speed as well. They're just better players out there right now that go for between 10 to 30 coins. You can go and get someone like Sissoko who's going to do a similar job to Reichard. Uh, obviously, Reichard has the ability to link, but no, steer clear. For me, out of all these five, my pick is Bobby Moore, and I'll tell you why. 88 stamina, really good physicals, exceptional defending. Dribbling wise, he has 82 balance, 94 reactions, 87 ball control, 79 agility, 94 composure. His sprint speed, obviously you're all looking at his pace right now, 66 pace, he has 67 acceleration and 66 sprint speed. You pop a shadow onto him, his defending goes through the roof and his pace goes up to 79 altogether. 79 pace is more than good enough and he can play CDM as well. He makes a better CDM than Reichardt. So for me, the pick of the bunch is Bobby Moore and I probably will have a look at doing him because then that still gives me uh, another 19 tokens to use. So it's all about the combos. What sort of combos do you want to put together? Raul, I've tried Raul. I'm not a big fan of Raul. I don't, didn't like his card. I'm not going to use him. Komen is very, very good. Agility and balance are a little low. Other than that, he is an absolute wall at center back. He's got high medium work rates, which are interesting, but he is a very, very good card. Another very, very good card um, that you can get in at 10 uh, tokens is Sadov. Now, Sadov has solid physicals and just green across the board. He can finish, he can tackle, he's got high, high work rates, he'll get up and down the pitch, but pretty much most of the game with 86 stamina and is definitely a really good player that you can bring into the center of the field if you need someone to kind of run the show. But again, I feel like he's not too much better than a player like Kante that you can go and pick up for like 300K. So I don't know if I would I would go for Sadol. Instead, um, and I'm gonna skip past Pires. Pires is very good at left wing, um, but there's so many good attacking options. I maybe think a little bit more about Socrates because of his five-star weak foot. Uh, and that five-star weak foot is just very, very handy in this year's game cycle. All the players with five-star weak foots are, are just worth their weight in gold. And with decent physicals, really, really good composure. Um, he looks like a nice card. The balance is a little low, and that's a worry. You're going to have to boost that balance, maybe boost the pace a little bit. But Socrates uh, is a player that I rate and I think would be great. And Zambrotta, another really good one. But now we can look at combo. So say you, t you pick a Socrates uh, for 11. That gives you another 13 tokens to use. Luis Figo, who I've used a bunch on the draft, I seem to take him whenever he pops, is really solid. Uh, I have ha I've got nothing but good things to say about this card. So for a combo deal, you go and pick up Figo for 13 and uh, and Socrates for for 11, or maybe you want to go and get say a, a Sador for a Komen. They look like uh, a pretty good combination uh, for yourself. And I accidentally press B there. I'm just going to jump straight back in to where we're at, and we're going to progress on further and look at some of the other deals available to you. Uh, so you furthermore to that, you've got yourself. 
in the next slot, Sol Campbell for 14. Now, Sol Campbell, if you've played against Sol Campbell, you'll know that he is a bully in at centre-back. He's the type of player to get his hands in the way of shots, to rip people to the ground. He's just got that, like, that PK-esque style. It's so frustrating due to the fact he has 89 aggression uh, and 95 strength. And um, he's he's really hard to get beyond. So I would love to have a Sol Campbell in at centre-back, particularly because of his arsenal links. He's just got such great sprint speed, boosts that agility and balance a little bit. With 87 reactions, he won't feel too clunky. And 76 short passing should be fine. Work rates are interesting, the low medium. Um, but I think that he would he would make a decent player for you. And that means you can then go and link him up with any of the players that had at least 10 or less. Um, so he might be a really good combo with someone like Sadorf to get that nice middle um, part of the, the pitch links. Because obviously the players in the middle will link up far better than others. Uh, moving on further along into the list, we have Lineker. I don't really want Lineker just due to the fact that he has three-star skill moves. I feel like any attack with three-star skill moves isn't for me. We've packed Blanc. He's currently a million-dollar player, and uh, Blanc uh, can play CDM. He can play centre-back, and um, we've got him on the content account. I'm going to steer clear of him. I don't really want him. Last year, I had had Hernandez uh, and for the whole game, and I really like this card. He is a great card. He's got... The right, side, the right type of work rates, four-star skill moves, he can finish, he's very reliable. I played probably 400 games with him last year and did enjoy him, but I'm not investing 19 tokens into him. This is, a, this is around for 77 days. I want my cards now. In 77 days' time, he is no longer going to be able to make that impact, and you want to get value for your money. If you go and pick up Bobby Moore tomorrow, uh, and then you can then go and get other cards as they come along, you're not going to wait 60-odd days to pick up that 19 token card. So I would say no, any of these cards here at the end, yes, they'll make an impact for your team. Of course, Del Piero is very good uh, with his five-star weak foot. I also had Del Piero last year. He was my favorite player that I had. I enjoyed Del Piero more than R9. I had his prime version last year, not his baby version. Um, so that, that did make a difference for me. Uh, but I just don't know if I have it in me to wait uh, that long for Del Piero because you want your cards now. You want your players to make an impact now. Uh, so if you've got it in you to wait that long, uh, and then, then sure, um, go for Del Piero because he is exceptional. But I just I just can't see myself waiting for 20, nor 21 for Ronaldinho, or for, for the big boy Estian, who I know a lot of people are going to go for because they have the patience. And lastly, Baby Vieira. But Baby Vieira, even him, 69 balance, 71 agility. You know, could you just go and get yourself a Kante? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. Are you going to wait? Are you going to make more than two months for this card or just going to go pick up Kante for 300000 now? So the combo deal. Who are we going to take on the first owner RTG for our club? Right now, I can't help but to think I want to take Bobby Moore. I want to go and get him, use five tokens, and then have 19 left avail available for me. And then even then, there's nothing stopping us from then, say, going and... and uh, and picking up Van der Sar to put in goals because he is one of the best keepers that you're going to get. That's 11 tokens used and we still have 13 left because he probably will grind them all out. And then for 13, we'll go and get ourselves Lewis Figo uh, in at right wing. And I think Figo, Van der Sar, Moore, is that the best we can get? Or should I be a little bit, little bit more patient and, and get ourselves maybe Sol Campbell for 14? And for 10, um, we'll get ourselves Sadorf Komen. Oh, there are so many options. I would love to hear in the comments below whether what combo deal you want, Socrates and Figo, you want them more now. Right now, if you have a look at our team really quickly, um, we've got ourselves Roberto Carlos playing over at centre-back, who's been doing an absolute monster of a job. He's only on six chem, but he gives Tellers full chem. Um, this is just one of the sides that I was looking at right now. We can get sides with far more chemistry when you bring, bring in players like Di, Mar Di Maria into the team and then I can also um, link in our Thiago Mendes and that of course gets uh, far more chemistry than than, um, than that original setup so there's lots of things that we can do with, with our team um, to get players all linked up on better cam in different formations and things but um, it is questionable so no weekend league this week 
Uh, the games will be back. I'm going to try and grind out some content. I've got some interesting things um, going on with squad building. I'm not going to tell you what I'm up to. I'll be showing you ways how to make profit and stuff like that. I've actually started one of the league SBCs. I'm going to keep that hushed till tomorrow because I've got a little bit of a secret going on there. But that's all from today's episode, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. Hashtag Road to 1,000 subs. Share my channel if you want to, if you're enjoying it, and you think I deserve to have more than 320 odd subs. You think this channel should grow. Um, the bigger we get, the more time and effort I can invest into here to make you guys the best content I can to get you ahead in FIFA Ultimate Team because that's my goal. I want to help you cheat the system. I don't want to have to buy FIFA points and all that stuff. I want you to get a club that's as decent as mine with little as effort as possible and then keep enjoying that game. Happy New Year to you all. See you back here. Same place, same time tomorrow. Take care and we will see you soon. Bye.